running a small business one of the very repetitive and boring tasks I continue to have is to process the incoming invoices. So I decided to build a fully automated system that does exactly this for me. To set this up, I have used Airtable, Anatan, and ChatGPT Vision, and I am using approvals and human in the loop to make sure that I still keep control. And if you want to have this system for your business, then everything I made is free to download and I will walk you through how to actually set it up. So first, let's see this process in action. So it starts with this common scenario when we get an invoice as an email attachment. If we got it on paper, then we can take a photo of it and send it to ourselves into this inbox that's going to work too. And this triggers this workflow automatically, which detects any new invoices that we got in our email and extracts their content using ChatGPT Vision. And that is then going to add this invoice into our Airtable interface for approvals, where if everything looks good, we can approve it. And after approval and when the due date is close enough, it's going to show up in the invoices due tab where we can track if we have paid it. So if you believe that this can be useful for you and your business, then the download link is in the description where you can find the whole setup guide as well as the required workflow, which I will also walk you through in the second part of this video. Also, of course, we are happy to help with customizing this solution or setting up a completely different one depending on your needs. So if you want invoice processing automation or many other types of automations that we can do for businesses and agencies, then please contact us in, on the same link below and we will be in touch with you very soon. Usually we can uh, start with a free demo. So one of the tools that we are going to be using is called Anatan. Anatan is one of the most powerful automation tools. It integrates to pretty much anything you want it to integrate to, and it has a very powerful built-in AI agent capability. It can also be self-hosted, so it can run on your own computer or server, which is not the easiest to set up, but it is possible if you want to. And of course, it also has a cloud-hosted solution, which is free for seven days, so you can quickly uh, try out if it's going to be good for you. And there is an affiliate link in the description, so if you have not signed up for Anatan yet and you're interested in it, then we appreciate if you use it and support the channel. And the other tool is Airtable. If you're not familiar with Airtable, it's basically a very advanced spreadsheet tool, so it can be used instead of Google Sheets and Excel but it has many features on top of just being used as uh, tables. For example, it has dashboards, it has interfaces, it has different kinds of integrations and automations, and many kinds of views like Kanban, which allowed me personally to use it for a wide range of tasks, including CRM and project management. I find it very nice to have all of the data or at least much of the data that my business has in one place instead of it scattered across different purpose-built tools. So if you are willing to spend a little bit more time setting up and customizing something for your use case, then I really uh, recommend to set up Airtable. And even if you just have a couple of use cases where you want a more flexible tool than what a normal CRM or project management tool would provide, then for those use cases, Airtable is going to be very useful. Like in this case, our invoice management use case. And it has multiple different plans, <clears throat> uh, ranging from free to enterprise. So everyone can find their best plan. 
and we of course also have a link to this in the description so please if you have not signed up yet and you're interested then use that as that supports the channel similarly to the other one next i'm going to show how the anatam platform looks and how to add our workflow into it so if you have already created an account i am using the cloud version but if you ended up using the self-hosted the free self-hosted version that's going to work just the same and here we can create a new workflow which we would do to import our workflow and you can in the context menu add the go to the import from file and add our workflow which you have downloaded and once you've done that you can see the entire workflow on the screen that we have imported and it's going to have different tools it connects to gmail it connects to our R table and it also connects to our open ai you will have to set up all of this connection yourself but it's not going to be very hard because if you go to double click on any of the nodes then there is going to be this docs link where it is explained how to actually get these working for gmail if you are using the cloud then uh, in the credential to connect with field you would uh, just basically have to create a new credential and then choose your account from a google uh, login screen if you are doing self-hosting there are a bunch of extra steps involved which i'm not going to go into but there are um, other resources like the docs and other videos that would show you how to do that um, each part but for the cloud version you don't have to deal with as much and then for, for the air table it's going to be the same in the docs you will have to uh, find how to 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 add it and then one other thing we have if the, is the convert api where you have would have to sign up on their website get an api key and then that api key you can add as header out in the user guide there will be more details to this and then you have the open ai as well that uh, needs to be connected so i will also do a click uh, so i will also do a quick walkthrough of each part of this Basically, we have a Gmail trigger, which means that on each new message or every period when it detects a new message, it's going to run. It's going to get the messages with some specific criteria. Then it's going to extract uh, the invoice attachment as PDF as a JPEG, because if we get it uh, as PDF, it has to convert it, which is what it uses this convert API for. And then we can use a GPT vision to actually get what's on the invoice. And we would apply the data extraction rules and then the, which, which does the, gets the, the raw data. And then we have another information extractor, which is going to convert it into a format that we can then use more directly for Airtable and then this is going to push the data into our Airtable database and then finally to make sure that we're not processing any email twice it's going to add a label to each message that was processed already and this label is going to be invoiced, invoice checked which has to first be added on Gmail manually and then for the Airtable part, this is our Airtable base. We basically have two tables. One of them is vendors, the other one is invoices. We are going to have to add our vendors and then the workflow is going to match them by name to the invoice when it is uh, extracting the data. So if we have already added a CPB software and ABC corporation named uh, a vendor then if either of these show up on an invoice it's going to know to to put our invoice into these 
vendors. And then we have an invoices table, which is basically just the, the data that we have co collected. And it also has the invoice view itself to make sure that we are going to be able to use that for approval and checking and for later uh, whatever reason we need it. And then the other thing is that we, we don't have any automations in this phase uh, because I have set up everything in an ATAN, which I generally found, find to be more powerful when it comes to automations, but some simple things like getting an email notification can very well be done in our table too, and then we are not uh, going out and in of the tool every time. For example, it actually shows some uh, recommendations that when statuses get to paid, then send out an email or send out a Slack message. If some similar event happens for these kind of automations, the Airtable built-in um, automation editor is, is perfect. And then we basically have these interfaces, which uh, I have shown in the beginning of the video. Interfaces are custom ways to interact with our tables, which basically feel like a native web application. So here we have our uh, vendors where we can uh, see and edit their information. We have our due invoices and we have our approval invoices, which right now there are none, but uh, we can see in the data that both of them were already moved to paid. And that's why there is none. Yes, if we want to edit things, we can go to interfaces, we can go to edit pages, and there are many, many ways that we can personalize and customize these, which I won't go into deeply, but there are very good resources about uh, our table building as well. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have found it useful. Again, all of the resources required to set this up for yourself are available in the description. And if you have found it useful, please like and subscribe to the channel to make sure that you wouldn't miss similar videos. See you in the next one.